Hello everybody out there in YouTube. This is Lyle at CNS Corvettes. Finally back with my Friday podcast after a two-week absence. Uh, my main man, Alan, who does all of the filming, editing, makes all those cool little palettes and stuff you see on there. He was out for two weeks uh, doing some other stuff. He is back today, so finally I get to make another video. Thank you for Alan for being here. Today I want to talk to you about another C5 C6 Corvette secret that you may or may not know about. <clears throat> when you do the torque tubes, which we have talked about many times, or when you do a clutch, or any time that you're going to have access to the back of an LS engine, there is something very important you need to know. I'm going to tell you about it in just a second. But before I do, please make sure to click the like and subscribe buttons down below me here. Those are the metrics that allow our video to get seen by new people, and they help us grow our channel and do more stuff like this. So if you could just take a second for me, and instead of leaving your waitress a tip, just go ahead and hit those for me. That will help me just like a tip would help your waitress, okay? I am far too ugly to be a waitress, I know, but that's neither here nor there. Now, getting back to today's information. When, anytime you're gonna access the back of an LS engine, be it doing the torque tube, doing the clutch, doing the slave, doing whatever, there's one thing you definitely wanna do because while you're there, this is going to be the easiest time ever to do it. And that is the rear main seal, the rear main crank seal on the engine itself. Once you get the clutch and the flywheel and everything off of it, you are literally looking at this aluminum plate with a big round seal in the middle of it right at the back of your motor. Now, what most places will sell you looks like this. It's a gasket that goes around the plate and they're gonna sell you a black round rubber seal that goes in the middle of the plate. But here's where the Corvette's secret knowledge comes into play. Through many years of dealing with these cars, we have learned that some C5s and C6s, not all, but some have a problem. And the problem isn't with that gasket I just showed you or with the seal, it is with the aluminum plate itself. This plate bolts onto the back of the motor, right here's your rear main crank seal, right? And that looks strong and sturdy and dependable, but it's not. And here's why. If you look closely here in these little points, you may see I've got some marker in these little points here. Those are points where the aluminum in this particular design are, is really, really thin. Okay. And you can see they have the the bolt holes kind of weld, you know, kind of spaced out here. So you got room for the bolts and the washers and stuff, but that corresponds too closely with this well back here. So what happens is as it's stressed during its lifetime, it can end up leaking, getting a micro cracks here, 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 and down here and start weeping oil down the back of your rear main seal. And you'll say, huh, my rear main seal is leaking. So you're going to go through all the trouble of yanking out the transmission, the differential, the rear suspension, the torque tube, the clutch, the flywheel, and you're gonna replace that seal. But you'll leave the plate. You're gonna put it all back together, and two days later you're gonna realize, well, crap, I've still got an oil leak. Here's how you avoid doing that. Anytime you access the rear of the motor, you're gonna do the rear main seal plate. Because you can buy from us this complete plate not this one, this one's bad. Let me show you the good one. This is the new improved rear main seal plate. And I will show you why. Remember all those little places with the black marker? Look at this. You see all these little mounds in here of material that are built up, okay? That is because the people that designed this knew that there was a problem and they have built a strengthened and improved version without the weak points of the original plate. Furthermore, on the original plate, at the bottom, you can see two bolt holes right here, going up into these slender, elegant little aluminum receivers. What happens there, kids, is that people oftentimes lose bolts. And as long as they find a bolt that's the right thread and pretty much the right size, they go ahead and put it in. But if the bolt is too long, it cracks the inside of this, and now you have a weep coming out the bottom here. These good folks thought of that too, and if you look at the difference, you can see how this is just a tube, 
and this is rectangularly radiused out around it for strength. Okay? So, when you buy the kit from us, you get the improved plate, the new seal, and of course, you get a new gasket, and on top of that, you get all new bolts for the outside. This kit is $89 delivered to your door anywhere in the United States. If you are going to be accessing the back of your engine, you're gonna do the rear main seal. If you're gonna do the rear main seal, you definitely wanna use the new improved design of this plate and do the whole thing once so you don't ever have to do it again. Because after all, isn't that what we're all shooting for here? Isn't it the idea that we gut our car like a fish once, do everything we need to do, and then get to drive it for oh, you know 10 years before we have to do it again? That's where we're headed here. So in sum, if you have a C5 or a C6 and you're going to be taking out the torque tube or the clutch, you're gonna do the rear main seal. You can find this on my website, order it, we ship it out within 24 hours and you will never have another leaking problem again. That's pretty much it for this week, guys. If you have questions about this or if you have stories about how you didn't know about this and found out the hard way, go ahead and leave it in the comments section below. And I look forward to bringing you more stuff next week. Uh, I hope you have a great weekend. You all take care.